firstly, we always want to make sure that the clearance is appropriate. We want to make sure we have that 18 inches clearance to combustibles. Um, if less, then we want to make sure that adequate clearance reduction methods have been used. And lastly, we just want to make sure that the pipe itself is intact. Particularly take a look at the seams of the pipe and make sure that there is no indication that they've kind of buckled or blown apart. Connector pipe can be either uh, 22 or 24 gauge pipe. Um, it's often found in uh, hardware stores where you have to snap lock it together. And you'll buy it in a variety of lengths, elbows, things like that. One thing that's important as far as installing connector pipe um, is to make sure that the crimps are going towards the stove. When installing connector pipe, there's a tendency to think that the crimps should go away from the stove because that would be less restrictive to flow. If a stove's working properly, if it's drafting properly, then having the crimp going against the flow won't cause smoke to come back into the room. If you're getting smoke back into the room, that's a much more serious issue. That usually means you've got some type of negative pressure within the house. With a properly functioning chimney, properly drafting chimney, even if you have a hole in the pipe, you shouldn't be getting smoke back in. The reason that we want the crimp going towards the stove is creosote. As creosote condenses on the wall while the pipe is still warm, it's fluid, it's gonna run down. And it's much safer to keep that creosote inside the pipe, whereas if we reverse the situation and had the crimps going away from the stove, the creosote could actually leak outside the stove, outside the chimney pipe and onto the stove, which is much more dangerous. Creosote is very, high, very highly flammable. A big question regarding the connector pipe and use of stoves is dampers. Older, less efficient stoves often needed some type of a key damper in the vent pipe. The reason for that is because the appliance was so inefficient and it was losing so much heat out through the top of the stove that we actually controlled combustion more by restricting draft than we did by controlling the air inlet into the stove. Older, less efficient stoves were tended to be fairly leaky. Non-EPA stoves that were even sold up until a couple of years ago by default are very leaky. They allow a lot of air into them. The way that they pass EPA is simply by just running uncontrolled. Putting a key damper allows you a little bit of restriction on that. When you talk about a newer, higher efficiency stove, we don't have those problems anymore. We don't have air leaking from all over the place. We don't have too much draft. More often than not, we have to maintain draft as best as possible. So it's very important to if you're upgrading from an old stove to a new stove, if you're keeping the pipe, you want to remove that key damper. It's no longer necessary. If you're transitioning from a coal to a wood stove or you're transitioning your fuel source from coal to wood, it's also important to note that a lot of coal stoves have what's called a barometric damper installed in them. And this is that little damper pipe that was on a T, that's on a T in the pipe. And what happens is they control draft. It's a weighted piece. And so when the draft gets too strong, it opens up and it allows dilution air into the pipe. In a wood stove, we don't want that. We, for one thing, we don't need that. We shouldn't ever have it running too aggressively um, in the case of a uh, modern high efficiency wood stove. The reason we remove them more importantly though is in the event of a chimney fire. If you had a chimney fire, which can happen with a wood stove but not very likely to happen with a coal stove, once that fire is going in there, the only way to stop the fire is to restrict airflow to the chimney, which is the exact opposite of what a, what a barometric damper does. When a barometric damper detects an aggressive draw through there, it opens up and it allows oxygen in. So for safety reasons, we now remove barometric dampers from all wood primary combustion systems.